Loving memory of two people who made such a difference here in Madison. Tonight we hear the stories behind the lives of Al and Jan Studisville. Tonight, Madison mourns the loss of two community leaders. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jennifer Hoff. Earlier this month, Al and Jan Studisville were killed in a motorcycle accident. News 3's Danica Lewis was invited to join in in celebrating their lives today and quite a pretty neat couple. <laughs> An amazing couple and what a service this was. A really a great way to remember these guys. These are two people who truly left their mark on Madison. And while it's impossible to share all of the memories we saw and heard today, we hope to give you a taste of how the Studisvilles are being remembered. He's it's a sad occasion that brings us together. It's happy meaning, it's happy memories. The pursuit of that happy brought hundreds to a Madison College theater, some to share stories. She lived with a passion, she inhaled life. Others to listen, maybe even laugh. How many here have seen the picture of Al in the disco suit? <laughs> well, the rest of you are missing something. Outside of the service, pinned up pictures captured Al and Jan's memories on motorcycle rides, on their wedding day, each one with the Studisville's smiles. Those surrounded by bouquets from all over the country, just as colorful as Al's outfits and Al. My heart just hurt and I, I couldn't believe it. Enos Ragland and his band of red-shirted brothers took the stage for their friend, a man who helped start the 100 black men of Madison. It's one of the many legacies Al's family says will live on. He tried to help uh, uh, as many people as he possibly could, uh, both in his career and his private life, and uh, uh, Al was just one of those characters uh, that was just significant in Madison, and I don't think Madison's ever going to be the same. Just very hard to, to think of going forward without them. It was a chance to turn sadness into celebration, grief into applause, <laughs> and mourning into more memories. They were just good people, and they'll be really missed. Now, those flowers you saw in the lobby there, Alan Jan's son, Eric, is a running back coach for the NFL. So a number of those bouquets were actually donated by different pro football teams. You heard Mayor Stoglin's story about the disco suit picture. Well, Raglan with the 100 black men of Madison had another one to illustrate Al's colorful attire. He ended his remarks with a memory from the beach where Al proudly sported a speedo. <laughs> Needless to say, the entire else, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The entire theater was certainly cracking up. Sir, it's such a wonderful time in remembering these folks here tonight. Well, thank you for doing a nice job too of sharing that. Well, it was a pleasure. Certainly a great couple there, um, and one that will surely be missed. Danica, thank you tonight.